Okay. Hey guys, Steve here. It is Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. And I'm just gonna do a vlog. I'm gonna go to the, I don't know, I'm gonna maybe go to some store, see if, you know, I wanna get anything. Uh, pretty warm out here. It's like in the 50s, like 52 degrees. And yeah, pretty nice for January. I just thought I'd get out and enjoy the weather. Probably go somewhere, maybe. I don't know. Probably not going to get anything to eat. I'll do that some other time, maybe this weekend. But, uh... Yeah, it's like... What time is it? It's like almost 3 o'clock. So, yeah. Got a box of cigarettes littered on the ground. Yeah, it's nothing in it anyways, which... Come on, if you're gonna... Hey, people who litter. It's like, come on, people. Don't litter your stuff on the ground. It's like, come on, don't do that. More, you, know, you got got you know people like litter their their soda cans, beer bottles, beer cans, cigarette packs. It's like I'm tired of people littering. It's like come on, throw it in the tr in the dumpster. There's like a bunch of dumpsters in this area, and yet you know people just they just wonder, you know. They just throw it on the ground. It's like, come on, don't do that. Uh, but yeah. I did a rant last night on the, uh, about the YouTube putting videos not made for kids that are, or, you know, setting videos made for kids that are not directed towards children. It's like, you know, yeah. Here are these little woods over here. Got a water bottle there. Paper plates on the ground. A and W zero sugar. I don't fucking know. Uh, there's really not anything I want to get to review. Really, nothing new is came out re recently to do a review video on. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll find something. Probably gonna go to think of going to Dollar Tree. Um, but yeah, really don't know what else to say at the moment, so I'll record more as I walk to the store. There's this building over here. It's a laundry mat. Hopefully there's no one in there. I kind of want to record inside of there. And they got washers, dryers, yeah. A little laundry mat. This is basically an office building, a leasing office of these apartment buildings over here. Okay, I think there's someone in there, so I'm not gonna. It's like a 
little workout place there, like a gym. Mm -hmm. Not gonna, there might be someone in there and I don't wanna record them. They may see me filming them, they may get pissed off at me for that. And over here, it's like this swimming pool over here. They put these gates over here. It's obviously locked. And before the swimming pool, yeah, these gates never been there. Of course, the pool over there had its own gate by itself over there. I don't know why they put this. Remember, I was I used to be able just to walk past here, but I don't know. They just done construction here and basically now can't even walk there. Yeah, the pool. There's no water and. It looks like there's a little, but obviously it's not filled up all the way and the water's all green. Yeah, too cold to go swimming. Uh, but I don't even think this pool has been open for a few years. 2020, obviously they were closed. Every pool was closed in the summer of 2020 because of this whole, you know what, COVID crap. And then 2021, they weren't open. I don't know. I don't think. I don't know why. But maybe. I don't know why they weren't open in the summer of 2021. Last year they were doing construction over here. Last summer, so. Yeah. Honestly, I really don't even care about swimming in public pools. Honestly. Hated having to do the stupid swimming unit in PE class in high school. You know, I hated PE in general, but the swimming unit was the one I hated the most. We would usually do that for like three weeks. You know, and it'd be in the winter. It, it was an indoor pool, but still. S winter is not the time to swim. Even if we're indoors. Not. And sometimes it'd be freezing in the pool room. They wouldn't have heat on. And yeah... It's like, fuck. And I just hated having the change in the locker room, having the, you know, I mean, there's a golf course over there. What the hell is this? Chipotle gift card. Eh. Someone dropped the mic. Maybe it's already used. Not that I give a shit. I don't care about Chipotle. Never even had them, no interest in trying them. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah. You know, having to change for the swimming unit, you have to take off all your clothes or whatever. Even your underwear and your your socks in the in the in the uh locker room. You couldn't wear shoes or socks in the pool room. I fucking hated that. And just, I go in the pool, it'd be freezing, it'd be cold as hell. No, I just don't like swimming in, like, public pools or, you know, I just don't like that. Fuck the swimming unit in PE class in high school. That unit just sucked. What else do we have to do in the swimming unit? I don't know. I had to show off my embarrassing skinny ass body. It's like, why was that a PE requirement? A PE unit? The car coming. And of course the street has no sidewalk. So I gotta walk over here. Even though sometimes, and there's sometimes cars still honk at me. Even though I'm not in the car's way, I'm still like moved over, walking on this, and the cars still honk, thinking I'm in the way when I'm not. It's like, fuck that. Just make sidewalks, god damn it. I know I always complain about that when I walk on these streets that have no sidewalks, but jeez. Make freaking sidewalks. Think of the pedestrians. 
Seriously, whoever built the fuck another car. It's just street and people's property. You know? I'll either get honked at or I'll get freaking yelled at. Get off my property by the homeowner if I walk on their lawn to get out of the car's way. Yeah. I know I always complain about that in my vlogs, but it's just, god damn it. And yeah, again, there are some times where I do move over, I'm not in the car's way, and they still uh, honk. Or I'm not even close to getting hit. I cross way before they're even gonna hit me. I remember on Sunday, I did, when I did the vlog on Sunday, I talked about this incident uh, back in September, early September. And I was coming back from Walgreens. I was crossing that one busy street. There were no, I mean, the light just turned green. I was like halfway crossed. I was in the middle of the street, but I was halfway crossed. There were no car. I was not even close to getting hit at all. All the cars were far away. The light was far away, but it turned green. And it turned green, this car came, and the car honked at me from far away. It was not even close to hitting me. It wasn't gonna hit me, and yet, it still honked at me, and then, it's like, why are you honking? Like, it was like the street, and I, it was obviously a busy street, not a small street like this, but I'm just doing this for an example. The street, the grass, and, over here in the sidewalk like let's just do this for example make sure no cars coming now like the light was like all see where that stop sign is the light let's just say that's where the light was even though the light was even further i was even more further away than that i was like standing right over here when the light turned green there's a car coming now and i say the car Right when I was like over here, the car was like all the way over there where that like white, like, you know, let's say where that white pole is. And the car honked at me. It's like, what are you honking at? You were nowhere near hitting me. And I, and by the time I got to the sidewalk, the car was at the spot I was at when it honked at me. It's like, you were no, you were nowhere even close to hitting me. Why are you honking at, at me? And the dumbass some dumbass in the car yelled out something at me I don't know what they said they might have cussed me I was like why are you cussing me out you weren't gonna hit me you bastard I don't know that pissed me off some little pond over there usually in in the winters or whatever when it's really cold it turns to ice sometimes I see people play hockey over there obviously it's warm today it's January and again it's warm why I chose to do a vlog today because it's so hard to do vlogs in the winter it's so hard to do vlogs when it's really cold because the battery just keeps dying a lot it's just a pain in the ass that tornado siren there but yeah not bad today I'm not even wearing a jacket, I'm just wearing a sweatshirt, you know, because it's basically sweatshirt weather, it's, you don't really need a jacket in this type of weather. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Nice looking house over there. Zondo Cafe. Yeah. Speedway. We're on your way to the convenience stores of Speedway. Eh, I'm not going to go to Speedway. Uh, yeah, Zondo Cafe. This is just some restaurant.
tables or whatever. Tanning. Some salon or whatever. Taco Bell there. Maybe I'll get Taco Bell this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. And look at this. Beware of, well, just beware. And there's another, look at these two. Warning, no stupid people. No trespassing. We're tired of hiding our bodies. <laughs> Funny signs. Okay then. Fucking still fucking wearing a mask. There's still people wearing masks. Are you kidding? Fuck. Over here at Dollar Tree. This used to be family dollar. I hate when I want to be in an aisle when there has to be people. There's this old lady in this freaking aisle that I want to be at. It's like, fuck. Alright. Just got a couple things. Just got a couple things here at the Dollar Tree. Yeah, I remember when this used to be Family Dollar and then uh, Dollar Tree bought uh, or Dollar Tree bought Family Dollar and they turned half of the Dollar Trees into Family Dollar. I remember I did vlogs, a few vlogs here when it was Family Dollar, but there's still Family Dollars, but half of the Family Dollars turned into Dollar Trees, which you know I wish this was still Family Dollar. I hate when companies buy other companies and turn their place into the company they bought or into their, their company. UPS. USPS, FedEx. You know, basically just if you want to mail something, you come here and just put wherever you and then the FedEx the UPS truck will come and pick this up. And, you know, ship it to where, you know, it's being mailed to. Yeah. UPS. Fuck UPS. I mean, it's a... I have nothing against the, the delivery company, but it's just a shitty place to work at. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a it's a shitty place to work at. I wouldn't recommend working at UPS. I worked at UPS for uh, for basically a month for like back in November as a seasonal job, and uh, yeah, it was a terrible, terrible job. I mean, the pay is not bad, but uh, it was like. $23 an hour, somewhere around there. It wasn't bad pay, but... Ugh. It was just terrible. I had to... Not to mention the transportation sucked. I didn't have reliable transportation. Uh, but the job itself... It's really, really stressful and difficult. Especially if you're really skinny like me, you know? Walgreens. I mean, if you're really skinny like me, you're not going to last at UPS. You're, you're expected to lift at least 75 pounds or whatever. It's like, I can't lift that that much. Sometimes you may even have to lift even more, like 100 pounds. There are some things I just, I couldn't even lift. I was working in this one, in this trailer or whatever with this other dude or whatever. Uh, I mean, he seemed all right, but... Uh, yeah. So I did get help or whatever. I, I wasn't doing it by myself, but uh, when when I had to when we had to put the packages at the top of the uh, at the top of the uh, trailer, you, you basically be building walls. There's there was like a conveyor belt or whatever going into the trailer. You would like pull it in or push it out or whatever when the wall when it when the wall gets too close to it, so you have more space and more to put. You know what I'm trying to say. And uh, you have to take it off the conveyor belt. Packages. Some packages were not heavy. Some I were able to lift fine. But some were just too damn heavy. And it didn't even matter how small the package. You think a package is really small. Like a really small box. You're like, oh, that should be easy to lift. Nope. There are some packages that are like, I don't know. The size of this one Pop-Tarts box or whatever that I bought at uh, Dollar Tree. It's one of the things I got. It's like a small little box. and Oh my God, it would be heavy. But it'd be worse if the box was really heavy, like 100 pounds, and it'd be huge or whatever. Not, I wouldn't be able to lift it. And of course you had to, from bottom to the top, yeah. Obviously the dude that was working with me had to, uh, put the packages on the top because I couldn't do that and yeah there was a little stool but st I did not feel safe it's you know I felt like I was like gonna lose my balance or the thing was gonna tip over and I would fall and hurt myself yeah but sometimes I would have to struggle to lift the packages to handle to hand to him to put at the top or these like bags or whatever he put at the top I don't know some packages there would be just some times where I always try to pick up the easiest the lightest a light lighter package but there'd be some times where they'd be non-stop heavy packages and it was a pain in the ass and you're sore as hell oh fuck and it gets you dehydrated they say to bring water because it'll get you dehydrated oh boy they're right about that you'll get dehydrated It'll make you sweat, tired, sore. You're really sore. Yeah, I just couldn't handle that job. You know, yeah, I made some money with that, which was good. But uh, I wouldn't recommend working at UPS. I mean, if you have decent muscle tone, you know, if you have decent muscle tone, or you're strong, maybe, you know, it's a good place for you to work. But if you're... Like me, you're small, you're skinny as hell. Yeah, do not work at UPS. My friend Adrian works at UPS. He likes his job, but he actually has good muscle tone. He, me, I don't. Uh, yeah. Just constantly lifting really heavy packages over and over. I mean, I only worked like two, three hours a day anyway, so it wasn't a long day, but still. It wasn't a long shift, but still. It took, it felt like it took forever. 
and you basically have to build a wall of packages all the way till you get to the end of the truck and yeah and then either you'd go to another truck or your shift would be over the supervisor would tell you you can go home yeah I just hated that job I also hated the, the time it was like midnight I worked from like 11 p.m. or midnight till like 1 or 2 a.m. It uh, sometimes three, sometimes three hours, sometimes four hours, sometimes two hours, sometimes an hour and a half. It basically depended. Some the supervisor would tell you when you could go home. But yeah, it's just miserable working there. Fuck, there's a person. Yeah, working at UPS is miserable. And again, I hated the, sh the time. Like, there's only three shifts you could work. Either the mid, the like very late night till like 2, 3 a.m. That was one shift there. The other shift was like 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. till like 9 a.m. The third shift was like 5 p.m. till 10. I did not like either one, any of those shifts. Good thing it was a Monday through Friday job, which was good. I don't want to work weekends. Fuck that. But still, I the shift I would prefer is anywhere from like 8, 9 a.m., the earliest start time to like the latest clock out, get off time would be like 3, 4, 5, you know? I want to have the evenings and night times to myself. It's like, why can't UPS have a shift from like... Why can't they have like a like a day to afternoon shift? You know? And just the transportation there sucked. You know? I mean it's like I mean to get there by by uh, driving, it's like, you know, a 10 50, like a 10-15 minute drive to get there, but to walk there it's like two and a half hours. So I'd have to take the bus there, but I had to walk all the way home on the way back because because uh, buses don't run in the middle of the night, which is dumb. And there'd be sometimes I'd go to my bus stop and the bus would never come. So I would have to walk all the way there. It was like, oh, I fucking hated that. And I was, oh, uh, I was just extremely sore when I would get home from the job itself and walking all the way there and back. God damn it. Because the stupid pace bus would just... They were supposed to come at like... T and even... And the latest time they would come would, on the weekdays, on a Monday through Friday, or would be like... Like Sunday night, they would come late. It would come... The latest bus would be early. would be at like 7.35, which is dumb. So I would have to take the bus or either walk there or just take the bus and be three four hours early and just do nothing or and and the the latest bus on weekdays would be like 10 19 or whatever i'd still be an hour early before i get there depending on what time i'd start and yeah these bus companies need to be run all night not just it's come on Make sure the battery doesn't die. It's, it's good. It was still a high battery before I started this clip. But yeah. And another thing I hate about that UPS job, you'd have to go through stupid ass security. Every single day, you going in and out of the freaking place. You'd have to go through security and have these stupid security checks. It's a pain in the ass. It's like, what the fuck? Like the, the stupid security lady would have to like you have to put everything in your pocket sorry I hate when my nose runs you'd have to put everything everything that's in your pocket you would have to take out and put on this thing I did not feel comfortable I'd be afraid that someone behind me would quickly snatch my stuff and like fuck and, and they would the, you'd have to put a metal detector around you like you would have to put your arms up and they would like do this and you have to turn around I hated doing that 
And the security guard was rude at the UPS I worked at. This lady, this black lady, not trying to be racist, I'm just describing her, but oh my God, she was rude. And she was an asshole to me a couple times. One time she yelled at me to get back, like in a rude voice, she yelled at me like, I was kind of too close to the thing. It's kind of hard to explain what this thing is. Like, there's this little thing. I don't know. It's, I, I can't describe describe it that well. School bus. But I was, like, standing too close to the person behind me that was doing the security check. And the lady was like, back up. Back up. Back up. Or she was rude. It's like, Fuck. It's like, sorry, tell me nicer, you stupid lady. God, that pissed me off. Another time she gave me a hard time because apparently you're not allowed to have cell phones or whatever in the UPS place. And we had to have cell phone passes. We didn't get ours yet. And uh, yeah, we didn't get our stupid phone passes yet. And I was just clocking out for the day and the stupid security lady when I was getting ready to get out of the place, do the stupid security thing, the lady's like, just mentioned to me and this other dude about phone passes. And she's like, did you get your phone pass yet? And I, I'm like, no. She's like, no, 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 no. Go back and get, no, no. And I was trying to just go to the security. She's like, no, 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 no. You go back and you get your, you get your supervisor and, Get it, tell them to give you a phone pass. So I had to go all the way back to the stupid UPS building from the security guard shack booth. And I had to get my supervisor. And he said, uh, he told me that they're, he'll give it to us. And then the, the supervisor was cool. He was cool. This black dude, he, he was cool. He was nice. Nothing against him. But, uh... He told me that we're, we're gonna get our phone passes or phone stickers uh, later in the week or whatever. So I had to go, so then I went all the way back to the security and I told the stupid rude security lady that, uh, that the, the supervisor's gonna give us, and she's like, who's the supervisor? What's his name? I, I still didn't know his name his full name at the time so it's like, no 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 you go back and you get your supervisor it's like fuck i just want to get out of here so i had to go all the way back she wouldn't let me leave the stupid security bitch sorry for my language but god damn i had to go all the way back get my supervisor again and he told me his name and he just said he's told me to i had his i did have his phone number and he told me just to told me to give the security lady his number and so yeah school bus so yeah and then after that I went back to the security place and then she says it's fine it's fine I got his number I'm guessing he called her uh, while I was going back to the security place and yeah I don't know but god I hated going through those security checks and the stupid security lady Fuck, I hate these cars that sound like that. They sound like motorcycles. But yeah, it's just fucking miserable working there with the, the hard job itself, having to lift heavy packages, going to stupid security checks with rude security guards. My friend Adrian said he goes through that too, and but the security guards he has at his UPS, they're, they're actually nice to him. Lucky him, my security the stupid security guards at my location was rude. But yeah, had to do that. The transportation sucked. And I just wouldn't recommend working there. I don't know. I would prefer, I prefer just to work remotely from home. That's like Monday, at least Monday through Friday or whenever I could choose my schedule and... Uh, choose one to work myself and you know something that pays decently yeah I'm hoping this year I'll, fo I'll be able to find something like that but yeah yeah Dollar Tree I got some Lucky Charms cereal some 
pop tarts and some spaghettios. But yeah. It's probably almost four o'clock maybe, I don't know. It's cloudy out here, but it is nice. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just a vlog, a Wednesday vlog of me going to the store and back. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like doing a vlog on this nice day. Maybe I'll do a vlog Friday, I don't know, we'll see if it's, if it's very cold, I'm probably not gonna do a vlog because battery's probably gonna die, so yeah. But we'll see, if not, I'll do a, for sure do a Saturday night live stream, stay tuned for that, and yeah. Hopefully maybe this weekend me and my buddy Adrian hang out. I'll do a vlog if we hang out. But other than that, this is my vlog. So hope you enjoyed this and yeah, see you later guys. Goodbye, have a good one.